Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech and today's video guys I'm going to be giving you a kind of a tutorial video on power supply cables. I get loads of questions from you and you know, just going to read a few out. Um, iFresh Pizza, so many cables. Um, Ollie Moore, could someone help? I can't understand uh, how to wire everything up uh, to the motherboard because every video I watch it sounds really complex advice please. Uh, Gamer Reva Cam, if my power supply only has one PCI power connector and I need two, is there a way for me to use an exterior uh, power source such as a plug socket? Um, audio mod loader. Hey, what are the cables at uh, 35 seconds called? And do they come with the things that require power, um, or do we need to buy them separately? Now, all these questions do kind of you know scream out at me, and you know I do read you know a lot of your guys' feedback, and do actually get back to all of these comments. And I think you know the best kind of thing for me to do is make a video for you guys today and show you uh, yeah what all the uh, you know kind of connectors are on a power supply. So hopefully um, you know you, you know in a few moments you'll know what every connector does and. You know, if you are building a PC, feel free to come back to the video and, um, you know, I will be able to assist you guys in telling you which cables are which. Anyhow, let's kind of get on with the video. So to get started, I'll be going over the cables that are attached to the Corsair CX500M. I do personally own the Corsair RM850, however, if I take that out of my main machine, it would take, uh, you know, quite a bit to reassemble it and put everything back together. Now, if you guys did watch my mini ITX gaming system builds, this is what I use, the Corsair CX500M, and I'm also, it's a pretty nice power supply. Anyway, I'm going to go over, uh, you know, what each cable does and show you what each cable uh, looks like when it actually connects to. So first up, uh, this power supply is modular, and I will say, um, yeah, that does mean that the 8-pin CPU connector and the 24-pin motherboard power connector are connected to the power supply, while all of the other kind of connector, um, connectors are optional, and yeah, you connect these in if you need them. Now, first up, the 24-pin connector looks like this, and uh, yeah, this is the main connector that powers a PC and actually plugs into the motherboard. Now, this is the biggest connector, uh, typically, that you find in the power supply, and this is a uh, yeah, connector that directly plugs into the motherboard, typically on the right-hand side, so you can wrap this cable into a rubber grommet on the case. Now most 24 pin connectors are made up of a 20 pin and a 4 pin connector, typically called a 20 plus 4 pin connector and yeah this will allow you to uh, yeah, uh, use this on older motherboards that say only require say a 20 pin connector for example. So there we are, that's kind of the main connector out of the way. Now next up we have the 8 pin CPU connector and by its name you've guessed it, it powers the CPU. Now typically when you plug this in, uh, it'll be at the top left of the motherboard and yeah typically this will be the cable you'll be routing um, f yeah, from all all the way from the top of the case all the way down to the power supply. This cable is usually pretty long because of that. Now this uh, cable does the power, uh, yeah, does deliver power to the CPU and yeah, this connects is typically right next to it. So as I said, it's top left of the motherboard. Now high-end server and some workstation motherboards that do have say more than one physical CPU may have two of these connectors to power each of the CPUs and uh, yeah, a lot like uh, um, so the motherboard connector this uh, connector is typically an 8 pin and yes can split up into a 4 plus 4 cable. Now moving on uh, other cables on a power supply include the SATA connectors and these are typically an L shaped connector well, well should I said these are an L shaped connector you can't get any different else it won't be a SATA cable and yeah you can usually find these um, you know you find many of these on one cable Now this does make it easy to hook up say 1 to 5 hard drives with just the one connector and yeah the SATA cable can also power stuff like SSDs, uh, the newer style optical drives and also special types of components like RAID cards and also fan controllers. There we are. Now next up we have the Molex connector. These are four pin connectors and yeah, you usually find these uh, to power stuff like case fans that are not say three or four pin uh, PWM motherboard connector type. Um, yeah, Molex is um, mainly used for the older style fan controllers, hard drives, case fans, stuff like that. Also the optical drives that, yeah, they're typically ones that, um, you know, do rely on them ID ribbon data cables rather than the newer kind of slim SATA cables. Also, before I move on, uh, this CX500 m power supply has a floppy connector uh, for floppy drives on the end of the Molex cable that you get with this. Hopefully you guys won't need, uh, you know, kind of an explanation on what floppy connectors and stuff like that. Hopefully you won't be using them either. Now finally we have the PCIe, uh, well PCIe or say PCIe cables or just cable in the CX500M case. Um, yeah, the Corsair CX500M is not compatible with SLI or Crossfire rigs. Uh, one main reason I do have, say, the Corsair RM850 in my personal rig. 
Um, anyway, can I get an out of the way? Now, um, yeah, modern PCI cables these days are 6 plus 2 connectors, and yeah, you might be seeing a trend here. 6 plus 2 connectors are considered 8 pin and are mainly manufactured in this way, so you have the ability to accommodate a GPU that requires, say, either a 6 pin or an 8 pin or multiple connections. Now, these cables are mainly for graphics cards. For example, if you have a 6 pin graphic card, you would connect the 6 pin and kind of snap off that 2 pin and have this dangling uh, from the side. Of course, you know, you can always connect these together if say you know you do upgrade and get a graphics card in the future I'd say it does require an 8-pin you know just snap them back together and uh, voila Anyhow, this is just about all I can talk about in terms of power supply cables. One last thing I want to mention is that you can get all sorts of conversion cables for power supplies. For example, when I purchased say, my two GTX 770s last year, they came with 6 uh, pin to 8 pin connectors. So that's if I didn't have enough 8 pin PCI cables on my PSU, I could connect these uh, up and yeah, this uh, kind of cable would act. Um, as an 8 pin and, and you know it would kind of convert the power there and yeah I'll be able to actually power my GPUs just as if it were you know a normal 8 pin connector. Also I will say on Amazon and eBay um, you do get connectors like say Molex 8 pin adapters that can power graphics cards you know the exact same way so you know you don't have to go out and buy a new GPU if you intend to upgrade uh, you know your graphic card or say add a second or third graphic card to your system. However I will say these cables are good but I would say if you guys are going out and buying SLI rigs, to, you know, to support say two, three, or four graphics cards, it would be a good idea to actually get a pass by that does have all the correct cables. It's still okay to use these kind of conversion cables, but it's only typically if you say you got one graphic card. Um, you know, there isn't enough amps on on the rail that delivers to the Molex, so just do bear that in mind. Anyhow, let's roll the outro. So guys, that was it. That was the uh, kind of tutorial on power supply cables. Hope it's been um, informative and that, yeah, a lot of you guys that do, uh, you know, have a kind of, well, did have a problem identifying what power supply cables are, which, you know, kind of you know now. And that, you know, if you are building a PC, um, you know, kind of good luck. And, you know, as again, if you don't know what the cables are, you do get confused. Before you, you know, come back to the video, kind of check it out. And um, yeah, you know, hopefully you guys will know what all these cables are. If not, feel free to you know, send me an email uh, with a photograph of a cable, and then you know, I will kind of identify it for you and tell you what it is. You know, the whole point of me being on YouTube is to assist you guys. And if you know, believe that I am doing that, please let me know. Comments, emails, and you know, they will scream out to me. You know, this video is being made because of you guys in the community, and hopefully it has helped. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and yeah, I'll check. I'll yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.